It's that time of year again where we give gifts to people we care about. Or in this case, complete strangers. This year I'm participating in a secret Santa put on by the Maker Alliance from I Like to Make Stuff, and my recipient has stated they want to learn to solder. So I'm going to do my best to facilitate that. Alright, so let's go over the basics of what we're going to make. It's going to be a container or box that must be able to fit in a backpack, so it can't be too big, and it must contain everything you need to do a basic solder operation. So that means it must have a soldering iron, solder, some way to power said soldering iron, a multimeter, wire cutters and wire strippers, and third hands. Uh, we may throw a couple extra special things in there, but let's see how we do. I started with a box from Maker Case, and then opened it up in Onshape and did some editing. The real trick here is that I didn't cut all the way through for some of these slots to make it so you can still assemble the box, and then you cut these little tabs later. I'd go over it later in the video, but I also added these pilot holes for the hinge. After that, I repeated the same process on all the sides and exported it to the Glowforge. The first thing I modeled was a representation of the outer case to build everything off of. This ended up being a really complex project with 84 total extrude operations, a lot of it having to do with getting tolerances and fitment right with the outer case. I also made pretty heavy use of these variables uh, for things like sizes and tolerances to make sure that the whole thing fit in the long run. Alright, let's get to cutting. The glue up would have been a nightmare without those little tabs I left in that I will later have to cut. And then I just laid some uh, wood glue and blue tape to hold it all together till the glue dried. Welcome back to the itty bitty workshop. Um, okay, so this is finished gluing up. The glue is dry. It took everything in my being not to touch this last night. So it hasn't been 24 hours, but whatever. I did put the hinges on already. Uh, that will hold everything in place. And so now if you notice, if you look right along here, there are still little bits left. The rest has been laser cut all the way through. So we just need to cut those little tabs and it will become functional. Let's get you situated. Make sure you can see what I'm up to. Sweet! Alright, let's get to it. I have one of these razor saws, um, so I guess that's what I'll just use. Um, so it's in various ways. On the flat side, the front and back, we cut straight down here. Straight down and then connect these diagonals. So this this side's connected. If I cut straight down this side, I have to complete the diagonal. And I guess we could just take the blue tape off too. Let's see the reveal, you know? Here you can actually see the missed uh, laser cut here. I'll have to just cut this by hand. This line needs to continue all the way down. Oh well, it is what it is. Um, I also have to decide if I'm painting this, leaving this as wood. Seeing as the tape kind of ripped off the top surface, I will probably paint it. But I guess we'll get the uh, the top diagonal going first. You can also see how I intend for it to open. So these two side wings are going to flip open. The top is going to flip back. This little cap here will pull off and there's some specialness around there. We'll get to in a minute. <clears throat> Not 
the best view for you, camera, but there we go. Awesome. Okay. Now the moment of truth. Let's get the inside in here. See if it plays nice with the sprues, which it doesn't look like it will. Let me go trim this down real quick. All right, that'll hold while I finish this up. Okay, let's get this in then. Let's see if it'll just slide on down. Okay. So it looks like we have to close this and this first. Um, it's not all the way down. Okay. All right. So now these close all the way and that shuts perfectly. So I have a longer latch to print, but it looks pretty darn good. So now we've got that. Awesome. All right, let me grab the wing. So now we've got the wing, which should shut in here. So I have been contemplating splitting this into two latches, so each side can kind of close independent of the other. And then this. And you've got it. I'm gonna cut the top off. You don't need to watch. It's just the same thing as before. All right, so we've done a lot of prototype printing, and now that the correct color has shown up in the right material, let's uh, get to printing the final thing. So here's something I think you don't get enough of on YouTube, and that's iterations and why. So here's the original build, and I cut something out. I'm not sure if it'll work, but I made some major improvements. Number one being how this latch system will apply. See how it's got that little tongue and the other two come out. So on the new iteration, the top here will hold the sides in place. And one of the things that bothers me is that you can just open it, you know, without pulling the little uh, latch open. So the new one, it comes down a little bit further and then it's thicker because part of what's happening here is this little tongue is bending just enough. Uh, so this hopefully works. And the other thing is when you put in the screws for the hinge, I don't know how well you can see it, but it just splinters. Um, and that's because I didn't pre-drill a hole. So I just measured the hinge I'm using and had the laser cutter basically do a pilot hole for me. Um, and the final thing is the whole box is shorter. Let me go get the actual finished top and you'll see. So with the cap, it's just a little bit taller than I would like. So what I did was I just cut it just a little bit shorter. It's not significantly shorter, it won't change any operation, but it's enough to make me feel like it fits better in your bag and looks just a little bit better. All right, I'm gonna put this together. I'm using E6000 here to hold everything together since it seems to do the best job of plastic to wood. And then the hardest part of any project is to, you know, just let the glue dry. I don't end up showing it, and this secret Santa gift is already in the mail to the recipient. But the way that latch works is I used a couple of ballpoint pen springs to give it the springiness needed.
to make everything fit well, instead of having a cable coming straight out of the top of this Ryobi adapter, I wanted to put in a DC plug. But to do so, I had to take apart this Ryobi adapter and solder new wires on. Not a big deal. I mean, that's kind of what this box is intended for anyway. Moment of truth. Does it work? It does. And it even starts to heat up. Awesome. So let's take a look at where we're at. We've got a way to power the soldering iron. We've got the soldering iron, the solder, the multimeter, the way to clean the soldering iron, and let's talk about the elephant in the room, what will go here, the wire strippers. These absolutely won't fit, like that's just obvious. So I got the smallest cutters and strippers I could find and they still don't really fit. Let's take a quick look. Like they're close, but not quite. So we're going to have to cut these down to fit and probably do a little bit of a uh, sanding and smoothing to make it fit in every direction. And while we're at it, we might as well modify the third hand so they fit as well. This was a really fun and mixed material project. I hope my Secret Santa recipient really enjoys it. And thank you for watching. Find uh, links to the files to print your own and make your own in the description.